So this is our second visit to hyperbola. This time we're going to be dealing with this formula, and you can see the extra thing that's been put in here is the minus a. These a's and b's deal with the graph exactly the same as the a's and b's in any other graph. They are translating the graph. The a is with the x, therefore it is translating it horizontally, and the b is going up and down, which we've already dealt with. So we need to be able to identify these particular things, and then we're good to go. What we're actually moving is, again, the centre of the two asymptotes, so wherever those dotted lines cross. So that gives us our asymptote, and then we need to work out what k is. So to work out what k is, we look for one point that we can put into the formula and find k. Or if we're given k, we use that, what two things multiply to give k, and try and figure out what the curve looks like. So let's have a look at an example. We've got our axes, x and y. And we're moving the x-axis and the y-axis as far as the point of interest or the middle of those asymptotes is concerned. So we're going to move this one to what's a? 1 and b and k, 8. All right. So 1 is where we've moved on x the asymptote to. All right, so it is now going through x at 1. And b, it's gone up to, it's now going through b at 2. So now we pretend that those green dotted lines are our axes. All right, even though they're not, we do pretend they are. So this is 1, this is 2. And we're going to draw from here everything that multiplies to give 8. So we've got 8 and 1, 2 and 4, 1 and a half times. No, that's not going to work. Oh, no. Other things anyway. 1 and 4, 2 and, um, 2 and 4 and 1 and 8 are enough anyway. So we've got 1, 2 and up 4 means we go to 6. Now, I did that wrong because I went to here on 2. I didn't go from here to 2. So we must move from here. 1, 2, and up 4. 1, 2, and up 4, and across 4. And then we'd have way over here 8 and 1. So at the moment, I've got that. If I hit the point. All right. Same thing has to happen down here from here. 1, 2, down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Down here somewhere. And 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right? So the only thing we know now is we have ended up getting our x-intercept out of this. And then we make sure that we draw it hitting those two points and not touching the green line. There's another x one here. What is it at? What's this value here? One times good, negative six. Because it's one times eight. So one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six to get to eight down. All right. So we did actually find both of our x and y intercepts out by just counting. Not always will it be true. Sometimes we will have to use that fact that x equals 0 gives us the y, and y equals 0 gives us the x. Okay, so if we have to find the equation for one like this, we write everything down.
know about those points at the moment. But anyway, let's go for it and see what happens. So, where are the asymptotes? What are the values for the asymptotes in this graph, do you think? What do you think this would be? It's trying to be two. I know. Does it? And this one I was trying to make equal negative one. All right. They will be quite clear to you, so it's where the graph doesn't touch. <coughs> Try and move that up a bit. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that bit because I don't think that's going to be right. So what are we going to get? We've got a hyperbola. That bit's easy to find. So it's a hyperbola, hyperbola, and it's got A equal we don't know yet. Yes, we do. We do know what A is. What is A? Negative 1. Good. And B? 2. And we've got one point. zero and negative two. So we put these into our, what we know into it. So negative two equals, K is what we're trying to find. Zero minus plus one and plus two. Okay, what have we got here? Negative four equals K over one. So K equals negative four. So that is definitely 4 down, if that value there is 2, which now looks like 1, but that's right, it is a 2. So that's 4 down and 1 across. This one, of course, was not right, because it's 1 and 4. So that point there is 4, 1. I don't know what this one is. How could I figure it out? Good. Y equals, uh, yeah, y equals 0. So let's try and figure it out. Let's just find the formula first. Negative 4 over x plus 1 plus 2. So if we make y equal to 0, because it's going through, oh, yep. So we've got finding the x intercept, we make y equal to 0. 0 equals negative 4 over x plus 1 plus 2. So we take 2 away, negative 4 x plus 1. We multiply by that, negative 2 x plus 1 equals negative 4. Multiply it out. Put 2 on the other side. Oh, look at that. There was 1. That is. So that was nice, worked out nicely. Okay, what are the features? Features for a hyperbola. Same sort of things that we had last time. Can anyone tell me what the features might be? Y intercept and X intercept. All right, good. What else? What have we got new in this graph that we didn't have before? Asymptotes. Asymptotes, and remember these are equations. X equals something, Y equals something. All right, what else? We've got a few other things that if it's easy to find, we could talk about. We could talk about um, symmetry, because each of these graphs does have symmetry and a line through the middle of the point of interest. We could talk about uh, positives and negatives. That's a good one to talk about, a positive and a negative. So what quadrants they're in. But that is probably enough. Okay? 